We have mentioned this earlier. In an electrochemical cell, when you start to operate it, either in galvanic cell mode or electrolytic cell mode, there will be voltage loss, meaning the difference between the actual cell um, voltage or cell potential versus so-called equilibrium cell voltage. This is what we said, actual cell voltage or potential, there will be a loss from equilibrium cell potential. And that is coming from several contributions, as we said uh, earlier. For galvanic cell or GC, this voltage loss, data for voltage loss, GC for galvanic cell, voltage loss will be equilibrium cell potential minus the actual cell potential or E cell. And sometimes we can write this in absolute value as the absolute value for current times, if we lump all the loss magnum together, that will be so-called internal cell resistance. So current, net current, if we use only absolute value times all the loss, we lump it together as internal cell resistance. That gives us the voltage loss for this galvanic cell, which is equilibrium minus actual, okay? And uh, the loss, if we break it down further, it would come from two terms in general. One would be the current absolute value times R ohm, meaning the ohmic resistance, primarily coming from the electrolyte ohmic resistance. This would be the term, ohmic term. And then there will be over potential terms, eta electrodes, meaning the total voltage loss for both electrodes, for both electrodes, anodes and the cathode, okay? The voltage loss coming from two electrodes. So if we expand it further, we can write the voltage loss absolute value in two form, over potential absolute value on the anode, and the over potential on the cathode, and of course, this term keeps, which is the absolute value for current times the total ohmic resistance, which primarily typically coming from the electrolyte. And if with, with this, we can also write the actual cell potential or E galvanic cell would be equilibrium cell potential minus the total voltage loss, current absolute value times total internal resistance. And it will be equilibrium cell potential minus anode over potential loss, absolute value, cathode over potential loss, absolute value, and the last term is ohmic voltage loss, which is current absolute value times total ohmic resistance. So this would be the actual cell for a galvanic cell. And for electrolytic cell or EC, there will also be voltage loss, but this time you are applying a potential typically higher in absolute value than the equilibrium cell potential. So this loss from your applied voltage versus the equilibrium is the voltage loss, and still it can be written as current absolute value times the total cell internal resistance. And this one can be break down into further two parts ohmic contribution, as we said, and the electrode contribution. And then when you start to think of it, elect there are anode and cathode, so we can expand it further. The loss will be anode over potential absolute value, cathode over potential absolute value, and the ohmic loss also absolute value. So similarly, the electrolytic cell, EC, would just be the applied voltage and it will be the equilibrium cell potential for this cell plus the current times total internal resistance and uh, the current times total internal resistance can be expanded into three terms, anode over potential absolute value, cathode over potential absolute value, and current times 
resistance absolute value. So this one gives us the overall electrolytic cell cell potential or the applied voltage that you have to give to the system in order to drive certain electrolytic current of I. Okay.